could it be? Yeah! <laughs> Hold your head. And just a full just on. A <laughs> and it will climb onto that back tier, and that gives him a very good opportunity at an eagle. Little right hole location. Yeah, tucked in very tight to that right trap, and um, yeah, that'll be all right. Be right. Great swing. That was a good sign when your caddy says, great swing. Chan Kim coming off of the double bogey at the par 3 seventh. You can see the flag stick. Just a short iron in hand. Just in that dell, and I think you can... You don't need me to tell you what he thinks of that. Now, that could be. Watch this. Oh, that worked out well, man. I <laughs> <laughs> As I said, don't let your mouth get in the way of a good shot. <laughs> Yeah, that was a terrific shot from from Tommy Kim. Flanagan just coming from that first cut. And you can see from this angle that he's got a little bit of a backstop behind the flag. Go. Go, 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 go. Oh, very nice. Didn't require it. Bateman with a little wedge into nine. Tricky little pin here on nine today, and that's beautifully played. Just had to carry that swale at the front. Not a lot of room behind that flag before it slopes away. Kennedy now from long range at the eighth. Pretty good. Yeah, that's beautifully judged from long range. Our leader on the golf course, Lucas Herbert, with a little wedge into the eighth. And smart play there. As we talked about, that little backstop behind the hole, taking the water, the hazard out of play. Yep, carbon copy. Kieran Muir going at the par 5 tenth, 460 metres with a long iron. Oh, and that's a terrific. Get in. Get. Oh, my goodness. Almost the rarest of birds. Wormsby with a short iron into the 12th. Yeah, that should feed back down the slope. Flanagan on fire on the front side. This for another birdie. Yes, 15 under. He's within three of his countrymen now. <laughs> this young man has been impressive here through the first three days. Got a little out of sorts here early. Can he get it back with a wedge here at nine? Uh, I would say he's doing pretty well with that shot. He's 17. It's remarkable. It's great. Sam Eaves on the tee. Could it be? Yes! <laughs> that Kona Electric is going to one of three charities. What a celebration. Brad Kennedy would be happy if he knocked this one down because he would draw even with our leader. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Sam Eves. Flanagan now for Eagle. Excuse me, Birdie. Ah, but it goes in anyway. Forced to pitch out from a wayward tee shot. Four in a row. Hendry, just a little wedge into the front right hole location at 12. He really needs to get on the birdie train, and that is a 
perfect way to set off on that train. Brad Kennedy in perfect shape. Flag only five paces from the right. Two behind. Does he go straight at it? Certainly hitting his irons well enough. Now Flanagan. Right, a green light from the centre of the fairway on 12. Classy from Nick Flanagan. Hendry from the first cut at 14. to win, Greg. Yeah. You need a bit of luck. I think Mike will be the first to admit that that wasn't perfect contact. Oh. Well, he is certainly applying the pressure and Lucas Herbert on the 13th tee would have been watching that. 19 under par. Catch your trap. Get the bunker. Get the bunker. The other bunker. Well, well, well. Just when you think you've got an idea what's going to happen. Jeff Ogilvy, 2006 US Open champion at Wingfoot. Hasn't been a Sunday to remember for Jeff, but there's always a shot that'll bring you back. Uh, occasionally it listens. Beautiful shot from Mike Hendry. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Proficient with the putter in hand is the 2011 champion. It'll test you on three holes to go in the National Open. in the 17. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Kim coming off a bogey. Down to pick that tee up pretty quickly. That's yeah. why. Yeah, that is why. That will be a putt for Eagle. Tell you what, that's very well executed. That was that was very firm with that ball light. Calmly knocks it down. He's been proficient with the putter all week. That's his game. Kennedy in the house at 21 under par. Down. 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 Wow. Wow. Yeah, that is pure adrenaline. So it's official. Brad Kennedy will become a two-time New Zealand Open champion. And Brad Kennedy, it's official. His name is on the Brady Breeze Cup for the second time. Let us know what you think about this video in the comments section below. And if you'd like to see more Asian Tour content, hit the Asian Tour logo to subscribe. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And for more tournament highlights, click on our highlights playlist.